Hi, I am the AI voice of Keanu Reeves, and I'm going to show you how to train and use your own AI voice model thanks to the open source tool called Applio, which is able to run locally on your machine, so there aren't any cloud services needed. First of all, we'll need a computer with a powerful GPU. In my case, it's an RTX 4070, but you can of course use a weaker graphic card. Just remember that the training and applying of AI voices may take longer than in my case. So, let's start with the training model. Now, we will need to prepare audio samples for our desired voice model. The minimum length of the samples should be between 10 to 15 minutes in total. It doesn't matter whether you have just one big sample or multiple short ones. Actually, Aplio will split the given samples into the small, approximately, 5 second chunks for processing purposes. So you don't have to worry about that. But the cleaner the samples are, the better the model will be. If your speech samples have some background noises or something like that, you can try to clean them using a tool called Ultimate Vocal Remover, which is able to split the voices from the rest of the sound in the sample. Once our speech samples are ready, we can proceed to retraining itself. In Aplio, go to Train section, fill the name of your model, it depends on you what the name is, and set the path to do your samples. And now, click the pre-processed data set. The Aplio is going to split our samples to the small chunks, as we mentioned before. Once done, we can proceed to the next section which is Extract Features. This is needed for the extraction of the voice pitch. And now, the training. As you can see, we have multiple sliders here. First, represents a batch size. Basically, it represents the size of your VRM. So, if your VRM is 12 gigabytes, like in my case, then set the batch size to 12. The other two sliders are related to epochs. Epoch refers to one complete pass through the entire training voice dataset. And the more epochs we have, the better the model will be, but also much more time we will need. So, we can choose how often we want to save the epochs. We can keep the save every epoch to 10. And also, how many epochs we want. The most superior models have usually around 3 to 500 epochs, but for our purposes, the 50 will be just fine. We have here more options which we can enable or disable. We'll just save only latest and uncheck the save every wave. The interesting feature here is also overtraining detector, which is preventing the model from overtraining. Because if we would choose too many epochs, then that might be contraproductive for our model. Unfortunately, as each model training requires a different set of data and each voice is different, then there isn't any general recommendation how many epochs you should have for the best model. So try and learn. If you have multiple GPUs in our PC, then check the GPU settings and choose the primer one. Now you can start the training, but keep in your mind that this action may take from several minutes to several hours. We can see the progress of our training in the APLIOS CMD. Once the training is done, we'll see it here. If your training is over, Go to your APLIOS directory and here to the logs. Here you should be able to see the folder called by your model name. Open it and check whether the edit index file is represented here. If not, then go back to APLIO and click Generate Index. The index file is needed for the proper behavior of your voice model. Now, as the hardest part is behind us, we can try and use to apply our new AI voice model to some another 
voice. Go back to inference. Choose your voice model. If you cannot see it, please click refresh. Now choose your model. Choose your index file. Here you can choose whether you want to work just with a one file or with the whole batch. Drop the audio file, which you want to replace with your newly trained AI voice model. You can also play it here. The Witcher, part one. Later, it was said the man came from the north, from Roper's Gate. Now, we could either click directly a convert, or we can check advanced settings. Here, as you can see, you can change your output path and also export format. But also, we have here much more important settings. I'm not going to describe every each one of them, as I can believe that you can read yourself. So I just recommend you to try these options and you will see how it will affect your voice model. So click convert. And in a while, you'll be able to check your result. The Witcher, part one. Later, it was said the man came from the north, from Roper's Gate. So, and that's it. Thank you for your attention, and I wish you good luck with your own AI voice models.